Hi guys, in my previous video, I did create an article using an artificial intelligence with Simplified, the application that allows you to create AI rating content online. So, but in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some things you should do before publishing your content online and some of the reasons why you should do them. So, my name is Michael from Michael Digital World and without wasting your time, let's get started. It is very much important that after writing any content, you do not publish them directly to your website. And now this isn't really compulsory, but for some reasons, you might want to check a lot of things on your content before you publish them. And for example, you have to check the plagiarism of your content. The plagiarism of your content helps you know how much of a copy your content is of another person's content online. And one reason why it is important for you to have a unique content is that some ad networks such as Google Ads, if you choose to monetize your blog on Google Ads, it's one of your requirements that the content you do publish on your website are plagiarism free before you can apply for monetization another thing that is most important when coming to publishing your content online is checking the grammar of your content but do not worry because in this video i'm going to walk you through how i do every of these things before i publish them directly to my blog so here we do have a blog post which i have written using artificial intelligence and the first thing we are going to do is to copy our blog post and go to a website called grammarly now we want to use grammarly to help check the plagiarism of our content you're not just restricted to just using Grammarly. You can also use this tool which is small SEO tool. It allows you to do a whole lot of things and this is free. You can use the plagiarism checker, article writer, grammar checker, word counter, spell checker, paraphrasing tool and many other things. So to use the plagiarism checker on Grammarly on small SEO tool, you can simply click on plagiarism checker and close on this. This allows you to perform plagiarism check but at a limited rate you won't be able to paste in more than a thousand words at a particular time. So if you have a long blog post that are more than a thousand you can check them gradually a thousand by a thousand on this website. Otherwise, you can also opt in for their paid plan where you get to paste in as much as 30,000 words at a particular time. But in this video, I'm going to be using Grammarly because Grammarly gives you more function than this would give you. So if you're looking for a free method to check the plagiarism of your content, you can use small SEO tools to help you achieve this. So on Grammarly, simply come here and click on new or you can also upload a document. Here you want to paste your content. So once you paste your content, you're going to get this prompt, which is set goals. You can specify what your domain is about, the intent of your content, the audience, the formality you want it to be. So once you're done, you can simply click on done. Here you'll be able to see the overall score your content has, your characters, words, sentence, readability of the content you have written. And you can also close this. So with Grammarly, you do have suggestion in this section here. So it helps you check both the plagiarism of your content and then the grammar of your content. So to check the plagiarism of your content, which is the last article we created using AI, you can come here and click on plagiarism. So this is going to help you analyze the content you have written while comparing it with other articles that have been published online so here you can see that the first title which is how to make your baby sleep in five easy steps is actually plagiarized and you can get more information by clicking here which is the link directly to the post where somebody had said that so to get rid of a plagiarism you can simply copy the text you can use tools such as Quillbot and you can also use Simplify. You can find other tools that are free for you to use online to help remove a plagiarism or paraphrase a content. But in this video, I'm going to be using this plagiarism checker called Wartone. With Wartone, you're going to get up to 20 paraphrasing in a day and it does pretty good work. You'll be able to paraphrase the content by simply highlighting the sentence and coming here where its logo is and click on it to rewrite it for you. So here you will be able to see different relatable alternative to the title of your content so five easy steps to make your baby sleep so the five steps to making your baby sleep you can read through in five easy steps learn how to make your baby sleep which is a good title that we can use so once you are ready you can select any of them that it has generated for you which i'm going to select five easy steps to make your baby sleep here so once you do that you're going to see that Grammarly will start checking the plagiarism of your content and you can see in this section that our plagiarism for the heading of our content has actually changed and we have gotten rid of those plagiarism and you can do this by copying and highlighting any of the text that you are interested in so I'm just going to copy a sentence after copying it you can take it directly to uh, Quillbot paste it here and 
click paraphrase this is also going to do the same thing to help you generate an alternative that you can use for your content so you can change between fluency and standard in the free version of quillbot and also on simplified you can use the content rewriter to help you do that but to check the grammar of your content you can simply come to the section where it says plagiarism and untick plagiarism so here you can see the correctness of your content is clarity engagement delivery style guide so you can scroll through to see the problems that your content has that you can make changes to so here you can see that in this article we'll share five of the best tips for helping your baby sleep soundly through the night from establishing the bedtime routine to making your baby sleep so it's giving you a suggestion that you should use the word ensure so once you click on this it's going to apply it and you will see that the correctness of your content will increase so um, five of the best tips for helping your baby so uh, sleep soundly through the night from establishing a bedtime routine to ensuring your baby sleeps environment is just right so you can also click on this one to see that it's right we've got you covered and so once you're ready you can just click on it to help implement the changes so after you go through all of these steps you can then publish your content directly to your website and you'll be sure that any form of monetization you choose including advertising or even using your content on amazon kdp you'll be able to monetize your content easily without having to go through the stress of um, rewriting your content or removing the plagiarism so thank you guys for watching and I hope you found this content helpful if you did find this content helpful do make sure to subscribe to this channel have that post notification bell turn on so that you'll be the first person to be notified when such videos do come out smash on that like button and I hope to see you guys in my next video